Hello, hello everyone. Welcome back to our Samoa. Now, in the last episode, um, I showed you guys the slum area, and at the end of the video, I said to you guys about the plans for the cargo train, and I said maybe we can put it through the slum area, but I also wanted some feedback from you guys as to where else I could put it. So, I've gone through all of the comments, and um, you guys have actually persuaded me not to put it through the slum area. So originally I was going to put it through the side here and make it kind of branch across the water over to the highway, something kind of like that, or maybe some tunnels or something, I don't know. But I just thought, like I was, but then you guys kind of just said, no, don't do that. Um, it's kind of, it's gonna kind of ruin the look. Try to do something else. So, okay, we'll, we'll go away from these slums, we'll leave those. And also because we have a historical area there on the, the tip there. So maybe I don't want to disrupt that. So a lot of people were also saying, well, why don't you put it along the shoreline of the lake? And that's not going to work because it's the tourist area. I don't want to put a train through there. It's going to ruin the whole look. And then a lot of other people were like, well, why don't you put it around the lake? And I mean, it's pretty hilly. I mean, look at that. It's pretty hilly. Putting it all around there would take so long for it to get anywhere. So we're not going to go with that option either so i think what we're going to do is we're going to put it straight down through the middle of the city so originally i wasn't actually going to put it straight through here but a lot of you did say put it along the highway i think that's the best option and i think it is as well it's probably the quickest and what we're going to do is going to go straight through the small narrow streets which, which isn't ideal i know that but we have to make some kind of sacrifice to get the train through here and someone's going to be unhappy about it in the city um, i know some of you guys in the comments aren't going to like what i do but it's just something that we have to do and um any buildings that are suddenly like blocked off like if they look out the window there's a train i try to add like high-rise buildings on top of it so it doesn't look like there's no like smaller buildings that are com completely obstructed like the view is completely obstructed so let's get into it and you guys will see throughout the video what it all will look like and what i'm trying to say so we're going to be using this train station right here so this is only going to be for cargo trains so this whole country isn't going to have a passenger train at all no 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 so what we're going to do instead of a passenger train we're going to use the tram line so we have the tram line right there you can see it kind of loops back the purple line and um i will eventually extend that train line over to safed which is the other smaller city that's right on the tip i'm also going to put in a cargo station here um i there's no particular reason why i've left this space open i just haven't built in it yet so we haven't used it why don't we use it now so it's kind of ideal as well and um, it's, it's a good spot to get the cargo right into the city as well. So um, I'm not going to fully complete the line because it starts in Safed, which is the coastal, the city right on the tip. And then it's going to go all the way through here, through the city. And then eventually it's going to go over to near the border area. And that's where we're going to put the big, um, the cruise, not the cruise ship, um, the cargo ships where they're all going to come in. So I haven't yet designed that area. So I won't be doing that area in this video just because I haven't actually thought about how we're going to do that whole cargo port area. So um, you'll, you'll kind of notice like throughout this video, it just like, I just don't show the end. So what I did, I just put down like a train station over there for the time being, but um, it's not worth showing at the moment. But moment, but we will get on to doing the whole port area soon because we definitely do need to have more cargo coming in and out. And I can definitely say that after I put this in, we had a, a fairly good increase in profits. So yeah, getting getting your cargo around the city, it really does help. It's probably worth. The hassle of putting in the train lines and you know demolishing other things to actually get it in and to get it work but yeah it's it works pretty good so it's going to come around here we're going underneath our little highway there because obviously we don't want to disrupt our highway and then it's going to go through this little bit here and it's kind of i actually make it elevated through here but i don't show it now just because it, it was really quite annoying uh originally the train line was going to go over the tram tracks there but for some reason when the tram was waiting for the train to go past the tram would stop halfway on the train track and then the train wouldn't be able to cross 
and then the tram was waiting and then the tram was holding up cars and i was like well what are you doing like that's not that's not doing anything <laughs> like nothing's going to work so eventually i get rid of this here i make the train go over the top and the tram line actually i make it down a bit lower so it goes below ground level now here we are over in Safid. So this is going to be the end of our train line. Um, some of you are going to be like, well, why don't you extend it over to that other little island island that we haven't built on yet? Um, and I'm not going to do that because there's a major cruise ship. Well, not just cruise ships, but ships in general. There's a big um, what do you call that? Where the ships go in and out, like the the ship the ship route, whatever you want to call it. It's right there. So there's not going to be any train line over there because we'd have to do the train line super super high. And that will look so silly. Now, actually, I, I do quite like this area because we have a really big industrial area, but it's also quite hilly, mountainous, whatever. We've got the shores and it's not just like an easy area to build in. So the train line, it is going to go, uh, it's going to follow the, the highway as much as it can. And it's also going to go through several different tunnels because it is quite hilly. And I didn't want to like demolish a lot of the the hills as well so i wanted to keep the hills as much as i can because i want to keep that natural look Okay, so we're passing this little town, which is called Samalut, I believe. I hope, I hope I'm remembering. Hope I'm remembering that correctly. But goes past Samalut. I make sure the speed limits are a little bit slower through there because it is quite a. It's a fair decent. It's a decent sized residential area. So, I, so wherever the trains go past the residential areas, I do make sure the 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 speed is quite low, for obvious reasons. So we're back over here at the main. Uh, cargo train station just adjusting it all because I want to I mean I I don't really mind if the train lines in this country are a little bit like rickety and kind of like wobbly uh, because it kind of fits in with the whole the whole vibe that we're going for for this country but for the other country the train lines they will be more polished they will have better curves they will be able to go at faster speeds but the trains over here they will be going quite slow the you'll notice that sometimes the train lines they are kind of wobbly and rickety whatever and um actually i think it looks really good i think it fits in with the whole character uh of this country that we're going for originally i was going to put a, a train station over there at samalut but i think i thought since it is it, it, it is pretty close to um the the major one so we probably don't really need to add it in and there really isn't too much in that area anyway it's just a lot of forestry maybe a few farms but yeah nothing too major so probably don't need to put one over there So unfortunately I did have to demolish a few buildings to get the train line through here um, but one thing that I did which I thought was quite interesting this part right here it is very very narrow and once we put in this train line through here um, I think it, it was just a little bit too narrow for my liking so I actually downgraded to a single train line not the double just one so only one train can go through this little segment through here so on either side 
there is the double train line so but only for that little part through there which you guys will see at the end it's only for one train so if another train is trying to go through but there's another one on there the other one just has to wait but i think it's a really nice concept to have and um, it makes it look better because it's not as crowded looking. It's It opens it up a little bit. It lets a, a little bit more uh, light in there as well. Um, and I wasn't going to put the train line through the middle of this larger road. You can see where all the trees suddenly appeared. I don't know why they appeared. Uh, I, but I know some of you would be like, well, why don't you put it in the middle? And that's because there isn't really any space in the middle to put it. And um, there isn't any pillars big enough to connect from either side to allow me to put the train line in the middle. So we have to put it on the, the left side over the footpath. But you know what? It's not really an issue. Some of the pillars disappear, but I uh, off camera, I go through and add some more of those in manually. Some of them disappear again, but I mean, it's not a big deal. We don't really need to see them very much. And yeah, it just goes along here, follows the side of the highway. Yes, some of the buildings lose their view, but really their view wasn't that impressive anyway. It was just off the highway. But I mean, that's kind of just what we have to deal with. Like I said, sacrifices have to be made and they just have to get over it. All right, all right, all right. So by this point, pretty much everything is done except for the port area. And so there is the train lines here. You can see some of them zooming past. But one thing I like is that it's not super obvious where the train line is. Um, even over here, like, so we've got the train station there and it goes through um, the tunnels. It follows the roads and it's not super, super obvious. I hate train lines that are super obvious because I think it, it kind of just ruins the whole look of the area. It makes it look too artificial, if you know what I mean. So I like to keep everything looking as natural as possible. I do have a custom cargo train on there. I don't know if I'll keep it, but there is still the other one, the vanilla one going through there as well. But yeah, look at that. I made sure that all of it is pretty much at the, the same height. Um, going through here, it goes pretty much it's like around 30 kilometers versus i think naturally it's 100 kilometers an hour so it's 30 through there and then once it goes beyond there it just zooms through this bushy area and zooms over to the main one luckily this cargo the cargo train station doesn't produce too much traffic but i still wanted to put in a whole bunch of parking lots just because I think it looks really good like that and um, I like this cargo train because it has the the two train lines so it's got the two little tunnels where it goes in I think it's just a nice really it's just a nice little look I think it's just a nice look so after that it'll zoom along there I don't think I put in any other speed limit so it's probably a hundred but yeah there's not not really much over there it zooms along and then we'll come back around underneath the highway there and loop back into the actual inner city cargo train station so you can see there where the tram is going i lowered that right down so there's not really any there's no clashing anymore so they can both glide through the trains can go straight through without any hassle the trams and the cars can go straight through without any hassle they don't have to wait i think that's better to have it that way Again, I made sure that the speed limit through here is really, really slow. So it comes in here, the train line is, the whole thing is elevated. I've added in a few more buildings here and there just to make it blend in more. And um, it's really not that obvious. The, even the train station, I just realized the train station, it's like the same color as the whole city. So it fits in really, really well. We come along here next to the highway. We go over our highway exit lanes. So coming off the highway, we have all of those extra little lanes there. And then it comes up here to this single lane. And I made it go very, very, very slow. I think it's 10 kilometers through here because I mean, that's, that's a residential area, keep in mind. And that's a pretty cool look. I love that look because it shows everything. Like we're right down there. Oh, yeah, I just think it looks really, really cool like that. We've got the tram, got all the people waiting for the tram. 
coming along here which is a really busier area there's so many people over here and i just, i think it looks so cool like that oh the people everywhere oh it looks so good <laughs> i don't know why there's so many people walking i i don't know they've got a tram there but they still like to walk around so yeah it just glides straight through and um you know what i think having the red train looks really good because all of the other buildings they're just gray they're very boring but then we have this this kind of natural reddish color that co that goes through and it's like oh there's the train but yeah that's it for this video the train comes around here past this field goes over to the the end line which i'm not going to show because it's not worth showing but yes that is our first train line for this city and um, i'm actually very very happy with the result and thank you to everyone who gave the suggestions and persuaded me to make it this way bye guys